Brahms has a very distinct style, and you can really trace these developments starting from 1955, where he begins at Braun, to 1995, where he essentially leaves the company. And everything in between represents a step towards this aesthetic. But beyond aesthetic, it's really about philosophy, and it's about what design needs to be, and how design can be responsible for itself. I always was trying to make the product in a way uh, that it is easy to understand. That with the help of design, uh, you uh, gear up the product. Yeah? Less but better. That is, should be the objective, the main objective for the future. And uh, my feeling is that, uh, especially through this exhibition, that uh, young people, they, they feel that, that they have to change something, basically, as designers or architects. All of these things can, can essentially be distilled into a bronze style or a ROM style, which has a very minimal aesthetic, uh, very functional, very user-friendly, and, and uh, and based essentially on how you might involve yourself with the object. Or, uh, you know, in, in the example of his 606 shelving system by Vitsu, how the consumer or the user can be part of, of the design. Also, as I start with my work with Brown in the, in the uh, beginning of the 60s, and I was saying to the journalist, uh, uh, at this time, you can count these companies in the world which takes design really seriously on your ten fingers. Today, I have to say the same thing. You can count it on your ten fingers and you have one company. And that's Apple with Steve Jobs, uh, who is the man behind it. But. Uh, we need more. <laughs> we need more, and we need more uh, clearness, not only uh, with products, also with our cities. And everything is too chaotic. Beyond the aesthetics, the Rams principles, the ten principles of good design, are something that we can really bring into today's era industrial design uh, with consciousness, in a way. Ram's, his philosophy goes beyond just, just the objectness and into the idea of the object and what makes an object worthwhile. So I think that the ten principles are really important for the current guard, the current uh, trends in industrial designers to follow and to understand what makes something beyond itself, uh, what, what can create an object and make it have such an impact. And that is the future task for design and architecture.